Hi everybody, it's Lavinia. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, I am going to start the painting of Paul, the cat. And I'm actually sitting out in my backyard. I thought I would enjoy the day and I have my phone, Saji, hooked up here. Got my bucket of water. I have this extra palette just to um, maybe do more of the black color in here. I have taped down with washi tape. It wasn't sticking that great, so then I added the, um, the Scotch Blue Painter's Tape on top of it because sometimes this does end up pulling the paper. So I decided to put the washi tape first. Unfortunately, that was not sticking well, so then I put the Blue Painter's Tape. I also tore out a sheet from my sketchbook so that if uh, for my watercolor sketchbook just to test out the colors on the paper before I put it on here just in case I have my paint brushes here I know I am going to use probably this small um, there's not a number on here either that or it wore off but I like these synthetic brushes so I'm probably going to be using these I am definitely going to be using my mop brush and I will probably use for the fur in certain areas this fan brush I will probably also be using my rigger brush um, not sure about others as you can see some of these haven't even been used I don't know that I'll be using those but probably my round brushes maybe some of my flat brushes I also have some sea salt and I'm going to use that as part of the background so I, I will show you that uh, just makes a cool effect hopefully it works um, here in Arizona it's very dry I think we're at 40 percent humidity so I have to kind of work fast with the salt so I'm not sure if that's going to work or not <laughs> but we'll try we'll see um, and I have my master's cut master's touch um, palette here that I'm going to be using so just gonna go ahead and start getting set up you might also hear the noise of the fountain again because I'm in the backyard you may hear planes flying dogs barking so just part of whatever's going on in the backyard area okay so one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to activate my paints by just spritzing it with water and definitely going to keep this handy because again it it'll probably dry out quickly so I'll probably keep spritzing them as I need them so I didn't do a I did not do a swatch of my color so I just want to see what colors I might want to use so that's a bright blue it's a bit of a darker blue and Maybe that, and maybe that. And I want to see about, let's see. I'm just testing here to see about making my own black rather than just using the black because sometimes that turns out to be flat. So I'm just mixing some of this violet some of what looks like this burnt umber and then maybe some of this Prussian blue and you can see that a little bit more of an undertone of blue but I can probably add more brown so I might use that for my black and I can always then go ahead if I wanted to darken it add the additional black in certain areas just to make it darker and I can probably also add more brown in certain areas because as you can see here in the picture there's a little bit of brown and these are probably the darkest areas here of the cat here on the nose and probably around the eyes okay so I'm gonna start making my mixture and putting it in my palette I think what I'm going to do, at least for this video, maybe in part one, is I will do the background. So I'm going to use some blues and um, maybe this color here. 
mixed with some green. So first thing I'm going to do is take my mop brush, whoops, and just wet the background. I don't necessarily, of course, want puddles, but I do want it to be wet enough for the colors to mix. This is just clean water. This helps to not make it buckle as much. I'm trying to avoid the body of the cap, but that's okay because then we'll be creating the first strokes anyway. So I'm just looking to make sure that it's damp enough. That's what I like about the mop brush. It's it's a nice, I think it's a size 12. And I got this at Hobby Lobby. Okay. So let's see. I'm going to go ahead and use my larger brush here. My larger brown, uh, round brush. I'm going to grab some of this color here. This yellowish. Add some of this green, adding more water. A little bit of the darker green. So just putting that here in the background. A little bit of this blue here. Grabbing more water to come closer here as it dries. Getting my mop brush here to help out. I don't want puddles, so that's why I'm just going to go ahead and move that around. Dogs barking there. These are just those greens and kind of like a light yellow ochre and some blue. to grab some more water and put it here.
and I'm not necessarily trying to follow the reference photo. I'm just adding colors here. Gonna keep the undertone of blue to the ears. Okay. And now while this is still damp, I'm going to add some of the salt. So I'm just putting some salt. I want it to be coarse and we'll see if it works but what it normally does it would make an effect especially in the damper areas I'll put a little bit more had this salt container for quite some time I don't normally I really don't cook with salt and don't put it in salads or anything so have plenty of it okay just gonna add some here So I am going to let this dry and if it works what the salt is going to do is absorb just some of the um, the watercolor and make a certain effect all right and what I can also do is as I put this salt I can also spritz it if I think it's getting to be, whoops, a little bit of wind there, too dry. All right, so I'll be back. All right, and while I'm waiting for that to dry, I'm just gonna add just a little bit more, I think of darker green here. because this is where the light shows. I do want this to be darker. Now this masking fluid is going to keep that paint away, but I can always go in just a little bit there, close up to it. And if I needed to make wider 
afterwards, let's say what are areas, I could always use white gouache too. All right, so I think I'm going to stop the video here for this part one because this is gonna take a while to dry and it does have to completely dry for me to remove the salt. So I'm gonna end this as part one right here. So part two, I will show once it's dry, I will remove the salt and then we'll start on the body of the cat. So thanks so much for watching, everyone. If you have any questions, let me know. Don't forget to hit subscribe to um, get notifications for the upcoming portion of this video. Thanks so much. Have a great day. Bye.